All right, guys, Websoak here, and today I have 28th Street on the R and W. Now, if you're wondering why I've had the mini map turned off, it's because people can use the mini map to copy my stations, and I don't like when people copy my stations. So the mini map will remain toggles off except during full rides because I think it looks cool on full rides. So 28th Street. So what is it about 28th Street that's uh, different? Obviously, you see there's only one area with entrances and there's no entrances over there and no entrances over there. They're all at 28th Street. Or are they? Haha, <laughs> yes. There's abandoned entrances, fellas. So let's head into the station. Let me toggle off my night vision. All right, 28th Street, RW, Uptown in Queens. <laughs> Entry to the R&W, Uptown in Queens. Got that thing and that thing for my cards. What the fuck is this? All right, get that shit off. All right, exit, 28th Street and Broadway. Then I just have these exit signs here. The station is pretty barren, except it's got this cool design along the wall. And it is like 23rd Street with the uh, like uh, the lighter, like the brownish tunnel theme, which I kind of like actually. So uh, it's stuck, it's certainly stuck, guys. And you've uh, of course got 28 streets there. They have like the arms this time. You got these lines up there. I might build Herald Square next, although I might. I'm, I'm still considering if I want to do 50th Street for episode 50, but I kind of want to build Herald Square, so uh, I don't know. I don't know. I uh, might not do that then. So, if I head up over here, raise my audio gain. All right. If I head up over here, you can see. And I'm going to move the mic back too. All right. So if I head up over here, you can see there's something on the other side right there. Now I will uh, point out, I did not add the RW announcements. I'm probably gonna add those later just because I don't plan on uh, focusing on the R line for a while. So I will have to get back to it later. And I'll probably put the announcements in later. And if I just go over to the other side, you can see it's just a barren platform down there. You can see it into the tunnel there. It looks pretty nice with the arms on there. What, what the hell are these things called? Uh, what is my grammar? What the hell are these things called? Like branches or something? I don't know. There's the tunnel though. And let's head over to the downtown in Brooklyn side. Yes. So we can exit out here. Exit 28th Street Broadway, as I pointed out before. I hope this was the Uptown Center. I'm going to sound like retarded. All right, good. Uptown in Queens. Let's head out over here. Cross the street. You can see over there, we have the downtown and Brooklyn side. Yes, 28th Street. R and W. You can see over there to the other side. And let's head into the station. after I took a sip of my water. All right, 28th Street, RW, downtown and Brooklyn. Now you can see, it's, it's the same thing, but it says downtown and Brooklyn. And these things are slightly repositioned because of the stairs. I actually do like the look of this station, the pattern along the wall, which surprised me because what much can a local station really have like this? But I actually like the pattern that goes up along the wall. You know, it really makes it feel like it's a midtown station. This this feels like something that would be near Times Square. This just reminds me of Times Square. And when I'm in this station in Minecraft, it feels like I am near Times Square. And it actually feels like I'm in a real station, which is sometimes difficult to capture. But it happened in this case. And I'm always happy when that does happen. So if we head over here... We can see that there is more than meets the eye, yes. An abandoned entrance, of course, because why wouldn't there be? You can just see in here, look at this. Exit, 29th Street and Broadway, what? But it says it. And of course, there's a hill there. I'm not sure if that hill's there in real life. I had to put it though, um, just for Harold Square. I wanted a hill there, so I put the hill. So if we face through the wall like I just did, I put these Easter eggs, 
so it says entry downtown in Brooklyn, QBRR. I'm not sure when this exit closed, so I don't know exactly which lines would have been here when it closed. But whenever it closed is whatever lines would be here. So I just searched up a 19, I think this was a 1970s map. But honestly, uh, it wasn't labeled, so it was probably older than that. Um, could have been the N and Q actually at that time in yellow. But this map was probably older, so I just put Q, B, and R, R. And then there's an exit that is sealed off. And there's supposed to be a hatch there in real life. But that's as far as I went. So, we come back. And also there's some gravel in the middle. But uh, we come back out here and we're going to finish up the tour. Yeah, this one was pretty short. I kind of built this station out of nowhere because I want to have my queue line connected because... You know, currently in this map, I actually have no way to ride the subway to the southern portion of the map. And there is actually no way for me to get there without teleporting. So currently, like, the whole subway map is, like, split in two, and I want to end that. I want to connect a express line, and I picked the queue to the upper half of the map. And I'm going to do that by building Herald Square... I'm not going to build all of Times Square yet because I want to have lots of buildings there. I want it to have so many buildings that when I upload the video it just gets like hundreds of thousands of views and it's like insane. So I'm not touring Times Square for a long time guys. Unless uh, some miracle happens and I just go rampant. I want to fill, guys I want to fill up the render distance. I want it to be when you go to Times Square in Minecraft. The whole screen is just filled with buildings, and that's all you can see. You can just see the Times Square buildings, and they're all built perfectly to scale. And they look accurate as the real world would. So that's why you probably not see a Times Square tour for a long time. I want it to be like so good that even if you try to copy it, your build will just look like so, so like bad in comparison because of all the buildings that I put that... It's just insane. So Times Square is not going to be toured for a while, but I might tour Herald Square soon, or I might tour 50th Street for episode 50, but that's not a promise at this point, because all, all uh, likelihoods is that I do 50th Street and then it uh, just performs normally. So uh, I, don't, I don't really think I'm going to go out of my way right now to make 50th Street episode 50. But I wanted to, but you know, I kind of want to build Herald Square and have a line connected to the northern portion of the map. And then I might actually do part of the 1, 2, and 3, you know, that express section from 96 to Times Square. And then bam, I've got a way to get to the upper portion of the map. Easy. So yeah, that's been 28th Street. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. That's all for today.